Hey, this is Dr. Drew. And I'm Adam Carolla, and you're listening to Love Line on Lansing's 92.1 The Edge. Oh, my God. Oh, is that huge. Oh I should God. get a medal for tonight. <laughs> I should get some sort of award for suffering through this, huh? What? <clears throat> what timing? Oh. Uh, <laughs> you better light those oh. matches, son. Drew, go, <laughs> Drew, do you have enough strength to get to the matches? <laughs> <laughs> he dropped the matches. Uh, uh, they got to blow him up. Hey, no, hey, you're lighting two at a time, buddy. Yeah, yeah, that's my whole thing on fire. Uh, that's no fair. What do you mean, no fair? Come on. This is a this is 50 hobo power. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> or 150 hobo power. Anthony? I'm here. You're 16. Oh, I bet you wish oh. you were with us tonight. Well, you're listening to Radio History. One of my biggest ass nights. I have not had this kind of gas since uh, Cousin Sal drove uh, me and Jimmy from Long Island uh, back to the uh, you, JFK you had this airport. Then? You had this then? It was it was close. Yeah. It was close think, to this. I didn't think you'd ever recreated this. And that was one of the greatest nights of my life, a one-hour car ride in the rain with this kind of power. <laughs> Sal and Jimmy in the car. Oh, it was huge. But uh, tonight's huge. And How did Jimmy react? I just want to know how he manages this. He, was he applauding? Was he uh, humble? Yeah, was he turned on by it? Jimmy is, uh, he's competitive. And he's an athlete. And he, he, he feels it just like a heavyweight fighter feels it when he gets hit with a good cross. Yeah. But he respects his opponent. You okay. see what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> You know what I want? I want some kind of like a mask. <laughs> hey, Anderson gave you 20 feet of mic cord. You might as well just go out in the hall and finish the show. Hey, your headphones going to make it? Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Drew's sitting on a trash can uh, out in the hall. It's still, uh, it's still probably going to get it. I'll, I'll get something. Yeah. Uh, I'm, oh, I'm yeah. a good 30 feet away here. Yeah, all right. Oh, it's like, nice feedback here, too. Why don't you go. close the door to the, the control room? Hey, uh, Julie. Shut down. You're 26. Julie. Yes? Yeah. Um, yes, I have a friend who's um, hooked on heroin. Yeah. And I want to help her to um, get off of it. And I was wondering, is there any way possible that you can taper a person off of it? Not that works. You can taper off opiates, but it never works. It really never works. She has to go into a facility and stay there for several weeks. She has to. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, proud boy. You want to do something else for us? Mm. I'm sorry. What? I'm just. I'm just so. I, you know, I'm out here in the hall. I'm about forty feet away from the, from the uh, epicenter. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Thank you. No. Wait a minute. Right. Wait a second. Come on, help Julie. Where, where Hi, you, Drew. Where are you calling from? Jesus. Where? In Torrance. Torrance, uh, the Delamo Treatment Center. Down there in Torrance, give them a buzz. And I'm sure they have an intake person there. You can put them and put her in touch with right away. But she needs to be somewhere. It's not going to work outside of a structured environment, a place where she stays for a while. All right, you got that, Julie? It never works, okay, Julie? All right. Thank she you. has to bite the bullet and go in. Okay. Call that right. Delamo Treatment Center. All right, thank you. All right, Drew, you may want to call somebody too. Oh, nine one one. What are you talking about? <laughs> I, I don't know who's going down first. You or me? Now, let's just do a I'm, little... I'm, I'm actually concerned about you. Let's do a little ass recap. Yeah. I came on strong at the top of the show. I made my... I really established the first couple of rounds. A if pattern. It, if this was a fight, I'll just use a fight analogy. I was a fighter. If, if this was a fight, I came out strong. I peppered with jazz, but I came with some haymakers, too. And I came out very strong in the early rounds. I'm just thinking, like, run back and open the kickoff. You just... Then... No, I'm sticking with the fight thing. Right. Then in the, the mid-rounds, I cruised a little. 
I moved, I bobbed, I weaved. Yeah, you landed a couple. I moved around. I threw a couple of couple widow makers, but I basically just got on my horse and moved around. Now, now I'm on the ropes. Now and in the later rounds. And you're pounding. Now I'm coming back yeah, again. Forget I it. Caught my second win. Come I'm on. coming back strong. Uh, I was already on the ropes, though. Come on. That's right. But listen, you got to have the killer you instinct. Gotta you got to be able to put your opponent away. Yeah. Jay. Yeah. You're sixteen. You're sixteen. Yeah, I'm going to the, uh, the Air Force my cousin uh, this month, uh, around the 23rd, and I heard about the anthrax shot. Yeah. How there's a lot of side effects uh, against it. Yeah. I don't know what it does. I was, I was wondering if Dr. Drew... Well, do they know the side effects, or have there been some theories about a potential side effect? Uh, I've seen special reports on it and yeah, stuff. There's a bunch of theories. There's yeah, a few guys all... who, who refuse to take it. Right. Some people have some legitimate stuff. There's a certain percentage of people who with have vaccine, that with everything. Yeah, absolutely. With any vaccine, you're going to get some reactions. But my understanding is that that's an important thing to be covered for. Better better you should uh, risk that. So go ahead, Jay. All right. Well, All right. Uh, you uh, have, think... Hold on. You have my blessing. Is there a vaccine? Uh -huh. <laughs> you're going to crap your pants. I can't believe that I'm being offended by someone else's fart. <laughs> This oh, it's <laughs> just a huge knife. It's huge. <laughs> we'll be right back. This is the greatest. This is the greatest day of my life. Oh, this is a dream. Thank you for sharing my birthday. This is a dream. With me this way. <laughs> oh, Drew, get in here. No, why? In I here. know exactly what's going on in there. Drew, come here. I want to give you something. No, I want to give you a dollar. Come here. All right. I know. Jay I'm sorry a, you have to enjoy this we, on your we own. we got to go to break. Yeah. I'm loading up on man. Yeah, you better man. keep those where you can see them. You bet. Give me your 15. I don't like more. No, I'm just getting ready for the You're just getting ready? Assault here. Drew, is, uh, Drew is, uh, has pulled the matches from uh, the book of matches, keeping them like laying down next to <laughs> next to where he's going to strike it. Yeah. All right. Two inches from my hand. Kim? Yeah. Uh, you're 15. Yeah. Yeah, that's farting is funny, right? Hilarious. Oh, wait a minute. I got another one coming up here. <laughs> Get ready. For the... Now, don't light it before the fart. You guys talk about It's hard them. to hear you over the uh, sound <laughs> of my <laughs> man. <laughs> oh, 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 you better light another one, baby. Oh, that was good. All right, Kim. What's up, baby? Um, well, recently my parents just found out about a relationship with my stepbrother. Uh-huh. Drew's having a relationship with my ass tonight. <laughs> Your stepbrother? Yeah. Drew, one hour of farting. Solid. Now. Solid. Yeah. Thank these you. matches work. I recommend this. All right. So, oh. I know, Jimmy swears by him. You need more, buddy? <laughs> you were nine when you met your stepbrother, right? Um, I believe so. Okay. Hold on a second. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh man, it's lucky we're getting such crappy calls tonight, true? Because this is really the only thing that's keeping this show flow. I realize. Oh, don't don't light another round. You're gonna go through those matches. That's what's scaring me. True, you've, you've gone through uh, like 25 matches already. Oh, easy, concern, uh, buddy. And we got a matches. long segment. I need, I need more matches. Seriously. We got a we got a long segment is, here, Drew. No, this is serious. I need more matches. True, we got a long segment. Don't be burning <gasps> through those things so fast. I'm serious. You do what I do. You put a uh, trash bag on your head and you stuff your whole head in the vagina. Yeah, well, let me. Okay, that answered my question. I know I need uh, some some type of protection. But let me tell you about my fart story. Yeah. When I was young, more I importantly, my mom and she was in the kitchen. Yeah. And she was standing by the stove. I says, "Cooking eggs, mama." She says, "No, I just farted." <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. <man. laughs> oh boy, it's my oh, job safe. Oh, <laughs> I got another uh, one here. Get ready for those matches, Drew. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> and and bring those matches in here. <laughs> Airlift them in. I swear to God. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I ain't gonna be enough, girl. No, it isn't. Oh, no. it's getting through. It's getting it's getting through. through. <laughs> I hate to have to wave it at you, but <laughs> it's my job. All right, come on, Drew. Oh, Let's do the show. Focus oh, now, buddy. I'm trying to focus.